amazing short nap. Let me do some stretching and then, well, go back to the lessons. Okay class, thank you for being here today and see you later. Stay safe. Why? Why did I have to sleep? Oh. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gong Bong channel where in today's video, we are going to talk about... Um, I thought we were talking about blended learning? No, we are not going to talk about blended learning today. We are going to talk about virtual learning. It's not the same thing? What do you mean it's the same? It's completely different. Blended learning, virtual learning, even the words are different, man. Okay, tell you what. I am going to tell the people what are the difference. So for now, just go away. Okay. And we'll continue the video. Gosh. Sorry for the interruption there. It was my brother. Yes, I have a twin brother. But anyway, as I was saying, today we are going to talk about virtual learning. Specifically, we are going to dive deep into the topic of managing your study, but at the same time, um, finding a new hobby or managing your work while studying. Now, before we get started, for your information, I am not a professional virtual learner, guidance or whatever, but I do have experiences in managing a, about two or three or four works while at the same time studying and at least get not the best result, but a decent result. And today I just want to share with everyone for those of you who are working or for those people who want to learn something new during this pandemic because uh, this pandemic is horrible but it's also the opportunity that we get to explore new things and we should not spend the time to watch drama or to watch cartoons or something if you watch cartoons. So yes, we are going to talk about virtual learning but the difference between virtual learning and blended learning is that Blended learning focus on both face-to-face -face and uh, online study, while virtual learning focus entirely on online study. And today we're just going to focus how you can maximize your productivity while at the same time listening to your amazing teachers teaching you through Google Meet or Zoom call. Three things that we're going to talk about, I have my notes right there. Number one thing that I always do is about multitasking your prioritization that is number one so what do i mean by multitasking your prioritization it's just a word that i create by the way but how i do it basically is that while studying i keep my computer on be sure to do that because you need your attendance and your class participation you don't want to miss that so turn on the computer but at the same time prioritize based on that situation while you're studying what is important to you whether it be online learning at that moment or whether it be your works and then do uh, multitasking based on the prioritization that you set now it's hard but sometimes when your teacher calls you you need to turn your mic on you don't want to lose that class participation score that's what I do so what I do is that I have my computer on and then I work on stuff while listening to the teacher just to get a general idea so that I can answer questions or you can just search Google now I know that sometimes this is not a very good idea but you will hear why it is a good idea in a bit at the second tip but basically by doing this you will be able to maximize your productivity at work or at doing other things while at the same time studying from your teacher now you don't want to be watching Netflix or playing games while doing this then what's the point of you trying to be productive during quarantine while you're playing games and doing the study don't do that but be sure to focus on your study but at the same time 
doing things that you prioritize and that include um, working and that also include you trying to learn new things such as video editing or uh, photoshopping or other important things that you are trying to learn yes and that is tip number one multitasking your prioritization okay so tip number two is about recorded online lecture now I know 100% that you already understand that oh I have recorded lecture I know it already but let me ask just how many times have you watched it see a lot of you are or haven't probably actually watched it and if you watched it then congratulations you are amazing so the reason why I bring up the discussion of recorded online lecture to you is because basically this allow you to have like a safe a safe route if you don't understand the lesson meaning that while you're working sometimes you miss a few important points go back to the recorded online lecture and study from those points this way you can maximize your grade while studying or if not just get a decent grade a passable grade at least you didn't fail so do that watch the recorded online lecture and but at the same time uh, spending your time during your study um, actually doing other things now I don't advise you to just do other things completely like I said be sure to just still focus on your study because degree still is important so that is something that I would suggest you to do and yes number two it's very short but it's very concise and meaningful be sure to view your recorded online lecture you don't want to be missing out on all of them in addition just to point out Recorded online lecture is my, my personal favorite. I can see that I learn so much more while watching the re recorded lectures because it gives me more opportunity to pause while research on key terms that I don't understand. Now I know that I can ask questions during session, but it's hard to ask questions. It's so awkward and I don't want to go through that. And I'm sure some students also feel the same. And if you have the confidence to ask, then kudos to you. Now, number three on the list here, in order to actually study online or virtual study effectively while at the same time doing other things I would suggest to have some sort of goal while you approach virtual learning it's not just goal to understand certain part of the lesson but it's also about goal to understand what your lecturer is doing what do I mean when I said what the lecturer is doing here's what I do every time I go to online lectures I try to basically visualize the thought process that leads the lecturer to certain parts of the discussion or certain topic that he or she raised up because they are very smart people they have a lot of good degrees they come from very educated background so their thought process is very mature in fact mature than all of us so i really love to understand about how they brought up some certain ideas and they sort of make online lectures to me more interesting rather than just focusing on the theory that they deliver we can also focus on them and how they teach their approach to thought and how they immediately answer questions while uh, at the same time or just immediately after receiving the student's question do something like that create your own objective make studying uh, sort of fun for you that is something that I always try to do and I think it helped me a lot into you know keeping me in touch with the lectures although a lot of the time I got to admit I also well ignore the lecture as well but but don't forget the class participation score it's quite important and the attendance as well so yeah with that being said those are the three points just to summarize the first one is multitasking your prioritization it's very important prioritize some different stuff while studying this is what I do by the way you can take it or leave it it's up to you but how I do it just have a lot of priorities and in that circumstance what is important I'm gonna do that and then later on I'm gonna watch the recorded lecture to understand what the lecturers are doing so that I can get the knowledge of the theory of the study and finally I try to my best to make virtual learning as interesting for me just like the quote fake it till you make it but it's not really faking it to be honest you actually learn a lot from your lecturers thought experiment or thought process and yeah, with that being said, hopefully the video is interesting to you or it helped you to a certain extent. Online study is really hard, even to me as well and to many of my friends, I'm sure. But we got to do our best. We got to adapt. We got to be flexible to the current situation. And hopefully by the end of the pandemic, you are a flexible person. You have a new hobby. You're able to work on many tasks at the same time. And with that being said, 
thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoy it. And I will see you all later. Bye.